pretty much straight in because we've got so much that we want to cover today. Uh, and what I put up here on, on screen, I think is something that we all just intuitively know. Uh, yet when it comes onto the cover of Time Magazine, that probably catches most people's attention. You know, what is happening and why are it, uh, why is it that the medical bills literally are killing us? Uh, not just at an individual or at a corporate level, but uh, I would suggest that in many senses, it's actually bringing the country itself to a place of bankruptcy. And for the vast majority of companies around the country, uh, that now represents the second largest expense uh, that there is that that company is facing. This has a huge impact on any and every company's bottom line. Well, first of all, let me just move back a little bit to share uh, what Tony and I and many others are trying to do in this industry is simply make a dent in the universe. And they want to attract and retain good employees. They want a healthcare system to be there when people need it. They want a healthy, productive workforce, and they want it to be affordable. The answer is 87.5% are related to lifestyle be and, and behaviors. Well, that's, a, that's almost everything we spend can be rooted back in lifestyle. They want to have it simple. They need a simple solution. How do I go, where do I go, and who do I follow? Most employees, if they were sitting listening to this, would just go, oh my gosh, I got a frightful headache. How am I supposed to know all of this? All I want to know is how much does this cost me? How much food is it taking on my table? And how easy is it to access? That's all I want to know. As, as uh, I think it was Bill mentioned, there are many different ways to pay for healthcare. You might've mentioned it, uh, Tony. And insurance is one way to pay for it. And it's a valuable way when it's needed. Um, but if the benefit design is good, and you've got a advisor that's really helping you with incentives and benefit design, um, my experience has been rarely use insurance. I had a struggle. I couldn't make the math work on the insurance back in um, 2000. I moved here in 1995. I couldn't make it work then. I couldn't make it work in 2006 or seven. That's when I quit the system and built my own system where the math did work. And it really started with a, an epiphany um, when I was observing how my own family, two doctors and little kids, how we managed our own family's health care. And I realized it was dramatically different than what we were recommending to patients in our centers. As a CEO, help my CFO and help my HR director see that the broker we've chosen is a bad idea. How can you help me do that? That question comes up everywhere I go.